there are some believers that they are not able to overcome the lust of the flesh but they are busy praying for the lust to be cast down but they are not having certain power and knowledge how to overcome the lust of the flesh today i'm gonna give you the revelation about how to experience the power of the spirit so that how to overcome the lust of the flesh today according to the scripture the book of galatians chapter number five and verse number 16 the scripture says these i say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh if you keep your focus on how to overcome the lust of the flesh then you are defeated already the scripture is saying that walk in the spirit don't focus that how much you are overcoming the lust of the flesh the more you focus on the overcoming the lust of the flesh is more you have a temptation of the flesh the scripture even the lord jesus is saying that don't try to keep your focus on your weakness if you try to keep your focus on your weakness then you are shall be binded in your weakness you have to see the strength of the lord you have to focus your mind on the things which are above which are above in the colossian chapter number three the scripture says so brother and sister this is the scripture then i say then walk in the spirit so that you never fulfill you you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh so what is the meaning of the walking in the spirit <clears throat> most of the people doesn't know how to walk in the spirit that's the def that's the defect that they have because of that reason they don't have a capacity to overcome the lust of the flesh but today the lord is going to break the revelation for you people to be blessed in the spirit so how to walk in the spirit so in our mind there are certain things that we need to understand coming from the bible in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 28 the scripture says if you see any woman lustfully then you you committed adultery already in your heart so if you see if you watch a woman lustfully with your own eyes that's the moment you committed all adultery already in the heart so what is that explanation so what makes what jesus uh, tried to give the revelation to the people so if you imagine something in your mind that's the moment your spirit your heart is going to that place if you imagining a woman in a bad way then your heart then your spirit is going to that woman and trying to do adultery so your imagination is the spiritual world if you imagine something in the mind that's the portals that will open for your spirit to enter into the dimension of something so called the glory of god so if you imagining about jesus that's the moment you can walk in the spirit so your thoughts your thoughts your thinking or all these things are words of the spirit if you want to speak something in the spirit your thought is your word your thought is in your mind but when you thinking about something that is a meaning that you are speaking in the spirit in the similar way when you imagining something that is a moment that you are you are walking you have a moment in the spirit so if you imagining something that is a moment in the spirit if you imagining about christ jesus then your spirit will connect to the christ jesus so if you walk if you want to walk in the spirit you need to you 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 have to be understandable person to have an imagination so there is a scripture that we need to understand uh, in the book of in the book of habakkuk chapter number 2 and verse number uh, and verse number 1 the scripture says i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see 
what he will say unto me. There is a word that is in the Bible and, and this scripture says, and will watch to see. Watch to see. So, the, the, the Habakkuk in the, in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, the scripture is saying that, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me. So, he is doing something. When he wants to say something, when he wants to hear something, before he says something, he is watching something. So, he is imagining something after a finishing imagining, he is speaking. Or else he is speaking something, after he is speaking something, he is imagining. So, he is doing something both in the spirit, in the physical realm. So, Jesus says in the scripture, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Before you pray, you need to watch. Nothing but you need to imagine that I receive my blessing. If you can't ima imagine something, so your prayer is powerful. Your, pr your prayer is powerless. This is what the scripture is saying. The Lord Jesus is saying that God want to bless you more than your expectation, more than your imagination, and more than your prayer. God want to love you. God want to give you the blessing more than your imagination. He is the greater God. So, today I want to say something that if you want to overcome the flesh, lust of the flesh, you need to walk in the spirit. Nothing but you have to imagine what the word of God says. If you can't imagine Jesus, if you can't imagine that I am free, if you can't imagine that I am powerful, if you can't imagine I receive the blessing from God, then you can't do something in the spirit. Imagination is a movement in the spirit. Thoughts are the words in the spirit. If you want to speak in the spirit, then you need to think in the spirit. If you want to move in the spirit, you need to imagine in the spirit. That's what the, that's what the strategical points has to be revealed by the spirit of revelation. So today, I want you everyone to understand this revelation so that you people never be, uh, never be killed, you people never be deceived. This is what the scripture is saying, brother and sister. If you want to overcome the uh, lust of the flesh, you need to focus on Jesus. Most of the people are trying to pray, Lord Jesus, I want to overcome the desire of the flesh. No need to pray. If you pray, then you can have more power to do something to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because every time you pray, you remember the lust. Every time you pray, you are remembering the lust. So if you are, if you are praying, Lord Jesus, remove my remove all of my desires of the lust. That is a sign that you are remembering the lust. That is what the Apostle Paul is saying in the Romans. So, brother, sister, don't try to keep your focus on the lust. Even though you are going through the lustful things, lustful thoughts, don't even remember them in the prayer. Your prayer has to be kept holy. That makes you to pray only on the basis of scriptural knowledge and also spiritual knowledge. Today, this is the word that I believe in, that word can enlighten you in the name of Jesus the Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, I bless you today. I hope you, 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 you need to understand this. I hope you find a good strength from God in order to fulfill the, in order to fulfill the spiritual acknowledgement. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. Amen, amen, amen.